What's up guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be giving you guys gift ideas for filmmakers. If you're an inspiring filmmaker, I suggest getting some of these things. This is some of the stuff I wish I had when I started out and some of the stuff I will be listing are things I want or things I already have. I will also be putting some discount links in the description, so make sure you look at that also. Let's go ahead and start with our first section, which is cameras. I wanted to go ahead and start off with the basic category because cameras is, well, cameras. First, I'm gonna start out slow with vlog cameras. This is really great for a BTS footage. If you are on a film or doing a short film or just vlogging your day-to-day -day life, I recommend getting a vlog camera specifically for content creators and vlogging. The one I have currently is the Sony ZV-1F. Sony also released a ZV-1 and also a ZE-10. Check those cameras out because they really help with vlogging style videos. If you are going to get one of those vlogging cameras, I also recommend getting a battery pack because these cameras tend to die really, really fast. So I have a battery pack that I will put in the description box down below that really helps. It charges three batteries at a time and it's really sufficient for when I'm vlogging a whole day in my life and I don't wanna keep going and charging batteries later on. The other two cameras are actually for filmmaking and creating short films or just experimenting with cinematography. The first one I would recommend getting is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, the 6 K or the 4K has really good quality. The only thing is it doesn't work well in very low light. So make sure you adjust your lighting to those needs. But overall, it's not a bad price for a camera or a filmmaking camera. The other one I also recommend is the Sony A7s. I don't have a preferred one because I've never owned one. I just love Sony personally. And I really do want to get a Sony A7 IV or A7 III. Next. Recovering microphones. This is very important in filmmaking and just in general. I currently have a Blue Yeti mic and I don't use it for filmmaking yet just because I haven't filmed any short films or anything, but it's not really for filmmaking. It's for podcasts and there's a lot of people starting podcasts now. If you're really looking for a microphone that will perform well sitting down like a podcast mic or if you're recording audio to edit into your footage, I really suggest the Blue Yeti mic. I got this about three years ago and it's a really solid microphone. It just helps the quality of your voice. But of course we have to talk about real mics that we use for short films. I love all of the Rode mics. I really want one of those uh, for Christmas. The Rode mics really help for TikTok style videos. If you're a content creator, if you're doing gym content, just things like that, if you're looking for the, I will put it on the screen, but it's the mic that a lot of people have been getting for the videos like content creation. That mic works really well. It has some crisp audio. I love that one. If you are diving deep into it, you also might want to take a look into lav mics that um, attaches to you, that can attach to you from the inside. It's really works for short films. Now let's talk a little bit about on set items. When you're on set, what do you need on set? From my past experience, just for the past couple of weeks being in film school. A lot of people usually have a Didi bag and it's just basically this bag composed with a lot of different items that you may need to have on set. And most people like the Gripping Electric department usually have a Didi bag. I've also seen camera department have Didi bags and it just depends on the needs. But some basic items that could go in your Didi bag include Grip clips, a lot of the tapes for filmmaking, marker tapes, tapes that go on the clapboards, things of that sort can go in your ditty bag. I also recommend getting some gloves because gloves is just essentially needed on every single set no matter what job you have. The next section is books. I love books and I've been slowly diving deep into the filmmaking books. Books can really help advance your knowledge in the filmmaking industry in general and I just really recommend them. One of my favorites is Directing Actors. It's a really good book. It, it changes the question of like how you actually direct actors instead of telling actors what to do. Sometimes you can ask them in form of a question about their character. It's a really great book. I really recommend it. Another one is Save the Cat Writes for TV. Save the Cat, all of the books are amazing but I really want to be a showrunner, a TV writer. So I really invested in getting the Save the Cat rights for TV and it's 
one of my favorite books of all time. Screenwriting Bible. Recommend if you're a beginning screenwriter and you want to learn more about the craft of writing. There's also another book called The Anatomy of Story. You can tell I, I, prob I just love screenwriting a lot. I have a lot of books on writing, but The Anatomy of Story has been so good. I'm currently reading that right now. So good. Please get that book. You can also just randomly scroll or look up the best books for filmmaking and just dive deep into the pool of looking for great books that you can use. Uh, cinematography, directing, writing, editing. There's a lot of things you can learn about the filmmaking just by reading books. Now let's talk about some electronics, aside from camera gear. Headphones is one of my favorite things that I really want to invest in. I do have the Apple AirPod Pros. I've still been deciding between the two. A lot of my friends have been saying the Sony's XM5s or something of that sort. Not only is it a bit cheaper, but I also was thinking about the AirPod Maxes. Some people say it's just a waste of money and it's all for aesthetics. In all, I truly just want some high quality headphones. If you don't have one, maybe invest in an iPad or a MacBook. I have the MacBook Pro 2023 version. It, it runs so fast. I feel like I'm never gonna run out of storage. It doesn't slow down for anything. You can have so many apps open at one time and it will still perform the same way. Let's talk about software. One of my favorite softwares that I use to date, it's really efficient. It's the industry standard for screenwriting and it's Final Draft. This was a Christmas gift I asked for a couple years ago. It was my first like filmmaking or um, industry type gift that I asked for. I got a student discount, it was like $99, but I was like, mom, please, I need this for screenwriting and everything. And I've had it for at least like four years. I, I can't honestly describe how good it is. It's very good. Another one is Final Cut Pro. It is a bit expensive. I only suggest it if you're really into editing or you're really into content creation. It's one of my favorite platforms ever to edit anything. They also created CapCut for a MacBook or desktop now. So if you wanna look into CapCut also, they have a free version and probably a lower cost paid version if you want like premium or something. Another good software I really recommend you to get as a filmmaker is DaVinci Resolve. It's one of my favorite color grading platforms. I'm not like advanced at color grading yet. Really helped me get into the pool of editing and start playing with color. I don't think I'll be a colorist professionally, but I just love the idea of uh, making things come to life through color. I really hope I gave you guys some great ideas to ask for on your Christmas wish list. Make sure you click the links in the description box down below if you want to look at the products I mentioned in this video. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. It really means so much to me. If you enjoyed it and you would like to see more content from me, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and also click the like button and also leave a clapboard emoji in the comment section down below. I know that you viewed to this point. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.